Hey babe. You got tipped over and you're not dead. No, it's not tipped over, I'm not dead. It's always a good day when uh it's always a good day when you have to enlist the help of Big Black. What? What? <laughs> Go on, Haley, you wanna come too? What? What? We've got some updates here. I was able to clear out the um, compost that I had there. Been doing some work in the back, but there's a reason why Big Black's running. A couple things going on here. We got the compost stuck in here. These are some kind of like squash or something. It's either a squash or it's a, uh, what's that other thing called? A zucchini or a cucumber or some kind of something. I think it's like a, um, it's either an English cucumber or it's a zucchini. But you can see we've got a lot of work I've been doing here. Clearing out, grading, bringing down some of this hill. Got our tractor back there. Tractor being back there where it, it's not really where I put the tractor. I mean, it's where I put it. I was driving it. It's not really where I want it to be. So, got a little bit of an issue. Uh, we were over there, but we slowly slid toward the tree because all of this ground is soft. Yeah. I did try uh, several times. I offset the weight, basically put all the weight to this side, even put the lift arm down, put the bucket and arm down, swing everything over to the side. But as you can see, the tractor did start here and I've been slowly, slowly going down the hill. Now there's a problem with that. Because all this is soft and because it's so tall, if I went to try to go forward, which I can't now because I'm pretty much not really pinned up against the tree, but close enough, it's just too much. And I know that the machine would roll because this ground is just way too soft. The ground is unstable, so I've got to uh, get Big Black, get a chain out here, and fortunately with the way this is, this is all good to go. Hook up a chain somewhere on this. Probably down there somewhere onto the frame is what I'm guessing. I'll have to look and see where I can hook a chain to. But I'm going to pull it this way. So let's see what do we got here. I can't hook it to that. Might be able to basically. Yeah, dude. This is rough. Might be able to grab this lower frame here. Grab that lower piece. Drag it out that way. It's the first time that I got this thing stuck like that. It's a thing where I was like. Just one more scoop, just a little further. And that's what got me in trouble. And I felt it instantly. I was just, as soon as I got to a certain, as soon as I got to a certain uh, section, I just felt the machine kind of go down. I unloaded the bucket right away and it was already too late. So yeah, we'll see if uh, Big Black can pull this thing out. So hopefully we're gonna be good. I think we will be. Big Black's got some strength. I just gotta be careful, man. All right. So let's, uh, let's go get Big Black and see if Big Black can help me out. And this is a one-man show. My wife isn't here right now and probably should wait, but yeah, nah. Big Black's already warmed up. Or should be. You can hear the turbo. But um, yeah, sometimes that's what happens. Uh, crazy part is, is I actually have a winch coming, but it's too late. The winch isn't gonna get here in time to get this done. The winch is a totally uh, separate thing. So, whatever.
Alright, All right, so I do have, uh, actually got some chains and stuff with me. I always keep, oh, psh, come on, my guy, unlock. There we go. Got some chain type stuff here. And then I've got on the other side, the other side I've got some uh, D rings. This thing. Should be fine. Just gonna attach it to here. We'll just leave that in there. Attach it to that one. Basically put a chain to that lower section of the frame. And it should be fine by the way it looks. Um, the only issue, I may put it to there. That way I'm getting more of a, I mean I'm getting more of like a cross kind of pull thing. Instead of pulling it on this side, which I think will cause the thing to hook, if I come from here, maybe if I pull the truck a little bit forward, if I come from here, grab it on there, should be able to pull it. See how it works. All right. We got the chains. That. I think I'm gonna go with this one. And like I said, attach it. You see where I was? Attach it to that bar right there, which is welded. So I should be able to attach it to there and pull this out. So. So, should be able to just literally attach it like that. Shouldn't have to put the chain through, but maybe I just will, just because. Put the chain through. I just want to see what's going to happen.
<laughs> Alright, so I know it will work and guess what? We got we got a rescuer coming. <laughs> she, she obviously knows some kind of issue out here. Hey babe! What you doing? Huh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> It's not tipped over and you're not dead. No, it's not tipped over and I'm not dead. Okay. So this is going to be pretty easy. Um, <laughs> Only because I showed up? Yes. You're going to actually make it a lot easier. So um, I just went too far forward and I started digging and went towards the tree. So I got the chain hooked up. So all you need to do is be in the truck. It's in four. Um, it's in low, so everything's basically all set for and you I'm to, not, to go. Do, and, and I'm going to be in the tractor. And, and, I'm, you're, and I'm going in reverse? Yeah. Yep. I'll disconnect. You know what's funny? You look sexy in this truck. You do. So, all right. So I'm just gonna disconnect. That was actually very easy. So, just gonna go ahead and do this. All right. So, do you know how to take it out of four-wheel drive? So you gotta put it into neutral and then turn the selector switch to two-wheel drive right under the display right there. Yep. And then you'll see on the dash, this will be all set, and then obviously just regular. Right she used to drive the uh, lifted Ford Expedition that we had. It had uh, 34s with a uh, two and a half or a three inch lift. I can't remember what it had. So. Such a good truck, man. Look at her. I bet sometimes that she misses driving real stuff. And that's real to her. So. But, um. I'll show you. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, guy. So what I had planned on doing, right? So that last scoop that I dumped in here, it was literally that uh, I'm gonna just grab one more scoop and then what I was gonna do is I was gonna start pushing this down. Meaning what I was gonna do is I was gonna take the bucket and start grading this down and start bringing it down. And it was just that one scoop, man. That one last scoop was what got me in trouble, so. Yeah. So anyways, thank you to my wife. <laughs> But anyways, I uh, still got some more stuff to, win, uh, to do over here. I actually was thinking about getting rid of those trees, but nah, we're going to leave it just the way it is. Um, I do have to cut into some more of this hill right here. I need to cut down into this, but um, definitely widened and made this section nice and open right here. So they obviously 
know that mama's home. So, yeah, got rid of that tree that was standing up. I'm gonna pull out some of that garbage that's in there. But anyways, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know, man. It is what it is. Uh, my hand are down. My fault. So I'm out. Uh, I'm out ripping up my backyard for a backyard track and make the area more usable. What are you doing today? Hey, hey, hey! Get the camera. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> nope.